everyone, my name is Amanda and this is probably shocking to a lot of you because I don't really talk in my videos, I haven't really made a talking video, but here it is and today I decided to do a get to know me but K-pop edition because I don't have too many subscribers yet so I couldn't really do a Q&A and I've been wanting to like focus my channel more on K-pop so I have all the questions right here and Let's get started, shall we? First question, how did you get into K-pop? Well, it was five years ago on June 30th because my cousin from the Philippines came to America for the first time and she was like, hey, you should listen to EXO, they're great. And I was like, okay. And I was pretty open to the idea of listening to another band. So I listened to them and five years later, I'm still here. Second question, who was your first group? It was EXO, just like I said, and I love them a lot. They're not my like ultimate, ultimate group anymore, but they're definitely like a close second and I love them so much. They will always have a special place in my heart. Okay, who was your first K-pop bias? It was EXO's Chanyeol, and the reason why I picked him was because I was just like, looking at all the members on like a radio show and my cousin was like, choose your bias. Choose your bias. I was like, okay. And then so I was just like, oh, he has nice hair. It's Chanyeol. And like, he was my bias for a good while and I still love him a lot, but my EXO bias right now is Suho. Um, it's been Suho for like three years now, but he's great. I love our leader. What was your first K-pop song? It was also by EXO, obviously. <laughs> and it was, it was either 365, a bop, or a wolf. I mean, wolf was, it, mm, it was an era. I mean, like, what a song, am I right? Who is your current favorite group, NCT? And like, a lot of you guys probably don't know this because I do mostly like BTS covers, like all my K-pop covers have been BTS and don't get me wrong, I love BTS but NCT is actually my number one and I just haven't like found the right NCT song to cover yet I guess because they're kind of hard especially with their raps like if you guys have listened to Chain, you know why yeah, it's NCT has some really rough raps out there, so I think I'm gonna do something like touch or timeless, like to keep it simple because I don't think I can rap. I tried to rap in my last video, but um yeah, you guys should let me know if I should rap more in my videos. How did you discover your current favorite group? Um, this is a fun story. So basically it was 2013, December, and I was scrolling through like a K-pop news website. I don't remember which one it was, but they were like, SM Entertainment introduces Mark. And I was like, and I was like 11. So seeing this guy, like this trainee, who's like around my age, and who's cute. I was like, who's this? So that's how I found out about SM Rookies. And so ever since December 2013, when Mark of NCT was introduced, I've been like following along and like every member that was introduced so far. And like, I followed them through like Mickey Mouse Club and like SM Rookie Show and all their performances. And I waited for their debut for like two years. And I promised myself that once Mark Lee's group debuted they would be my bias group so here we are <laughs> who is your ultimate bias it's it's mark i think i made that clear because um nct is my favorite group and mark was always like my ultimate bias but he was only an sm rookie so i couldn't really say that he was my ultimate bias because like nobody really knew him yet and sm because he was just like a trainee like a brand label so uh, i had to stick with like saying other ultimate biases but he's been my ultimate bias for almost five years now technically speaking and i love that boy with all my heart i 
I appreciate him. I appreciate his existence. He's a blessing. He's he's amazing. He's so hardworking and passionate. I can I can make like a whole Markley appreciation video if you guys want me to, but I love him so much and he inspires me so much. Who is your ultimate bias wrecker? Um my ultimate bias wrecker is Jay Hyun of NCT. He He's not even like my number two when NCT. He's like my 1.5 after Mark. Like Mark's always gonna be my number one, but sometimes Jaehyun confuses me. Like, have you have you seen this boy? Like, I, he's so handsome and he's so good looking, and he's so talented. He's he really is the bias rocker of the century in my opinion. So yeah, Jaehyun. <laughs> what is your current favorite K-pop song? So I have a lot of current favorite K-pop songs. I listen to K-pop a lot. I can't really choose one, but the first thing that comes up, that pops up into my head is probably Whiplash by NCT 127. It's a pretty old song. But did you guys see when Taeyong, Mark, and Jaehyun performed Whiplash at KCON New York? Like I'm not, I'm from California, but I live streamed that thing and when Whiplash came on, I was like, how is this happening? Because me and my best friend love Whiplash so much. Like, we fangirl over Whiplash every day. And when we finally got the live performance that we've been waiting for, I was like, whoa. And it was so amazing. Like, did you, did you guys see, like, Mark in a bandana? It was such a blessing. Here, I'm just going to insert, like, a small clip of their performance, like, right here. <laughs> What was the first K-pop choreography you learned? It was... This was a while ago, and I think... It was No 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 by A-Pink. I don't really stand A-Pink, but we all know that song is super good. It was so catchy. I'm, I'm gonna turn it on right now. Hold up. Okay, enough of that. Next question, fandoms you're in. So I'm in the N Citizen fandom, of course, the XOL fandom, and then I'm also in I Got Seven. I'm also an Army. I'm a Once. I'm a Sewn. I'm a Blink, and I'm a Sunday My Day Day Six. Love them. If you guys know their newest song just came out today like when I'm filming this, shoot me, stream it, it's amazing. Their new album's great. But yeah, those are all of like my fandoms. I stand like a lot of groups, but NCT and EXO, I guess, are my like super top, but all of those other groups I listen to on the daily as well, so. Have you ever met your idol? So, I've seen a lot of K-pop groups in person, but I haven't met like NCT. I've, I saw them once at KTMF 2017 in Los Angeles and I saw them for a little bit there. Really want to see them again though. But I guess like in terms of K-pop idols that I've met, I've met GOT7 twice. Um, when they came to San Francisco, I did like a photo op with them. And I also did a high touch with them at KCON 2015 LA because I won a high touch pass. And it was great. They're all really nice guys and I think you guys are wondering who the most handsome got seven members in person it's Jin Young he's a prince in person FYI worst time in k-pop for you um there were a lot of like worst times but I guess like I could list a few but I guess like one of the ones that I could think about was when Chris Luhan and Tao left EXO because I was only in XOL for like not even a year when Chris left and it was like really sad for me and all of my friends and all my fellow XOLs and like I'm really happy um, for them like for being actors and singers like in China or here in the US and I'm just really proud of everything that that they've achieved like I've accepted the fact that they're not in EXO anymore and I know that they're happy but yeah for a while I was like really really sad like 
um, Luhan left and then Tao was left and then he left and so it was just like a really hard period of time for me but overall OT9 is still going strong I love Lei he's amazing so um, I'm really happy with how things turned out because I at least I know that the three of them are happy yeah all right best time in K-pop for you um, I have a lot of best times in K-pop, but I think my favorite ones have to be Growl era, EXO's Growl era, because that was like what made them super famous. And I think I like where NCT is at right now with NCT 2018, like boss, like. Amazing. Um, I, th I just think that NCT is finally getting the recognition that they deserve and yeah, it's amazing how how much they're achieving now and I'm really really proud of them and all their interviews in LA and New York and my babies. Last question and it's how has K-pop changed your life? You know, this is kind of like a deep question but I'm not going to make it deep because honestly K-pop changed my life by teaching me that you can cry every five minutes over your bias and over your bias group songs like that's basically and it also taught me that idols get paid and attack people for a living <laughs> that's what my friend said basically yeah that's how k-pop changed my life i stay up until 2 a.m for music video releases i get attacked whenever NCT tweets in the middle of class. Um, yeah, so basically that's how it changed my life. It used to be a very, my life used to be very calm in middle school, but um, after like sixth grade until now, like I'm a junior now in high school and that's, my life has never been calm, especially when you stand a group with 18 members. Yup. All right, so that's a wrap for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that one and got to know a little bit more about me and my love for K-pop. And maybe, hopefully, in the future, I'll do a Q&A when I get more subscribers, hopefully. And yeah, so I hope you guys will like my future covers. And let me know in the comment box if you guys like videos like this or if you guys want me to do more K-pop related videos. So yeah, so please like, subscribe, and comment. Bye!